Hey guys, welcome back to Welcome to Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Guardy Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitch here, welcome back to the LV426, the planetoid of your kill, uh, where we have two self-sustaining colonies. Over here we have the swampy slash marshy colony. This guy is doing uh, most of the job of creating uh, oxygen and food and just about everything that the, uh, the bases need. This guy over here producing oil not a lot of oil either but it is producing oil and that is its purpose over here but today today i want to try and get ourselves some environmental suits so we can get down into the heat it's quite warm down there and get ourselves more and uh, better oil production on the go but we have a small problem with that if i come into my resources here you can see that i'm looking at the seeds and we need the thimble reed seeds we don't have any. We don't have any at all. And you would have thought that maybe uh, your kill would have been the one we got from. I mean, after all, uh, look at this. We've got like a marshy biome here. Don't thimble reeds grow in the marshy biome? Well, it turns out that whilst swampy is a biome, we also have... Oh, I, I wish I wish the two were, were not joined up here. Look at this. Uh, we also have the marsh biome. And that marsh biome, that has the thimble reed we're after. So we're going to have to make a new expedition. And that that's, that's going to be fine. We're going to do well. Another thing... Thing. This this is this is a new thing. Where's this come from? I, never, I didn't, didn't have a didn't have a question mark a little time ago. Right up at the top of the map over here, we have ourselves a rocket platform. Now this rocket platform was made for the one that went over to Toronto. We've collected all the 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 duplicates named after viewers of the series over here. Yep, all two of them. I do have one more to add in, and I think we can actually make it now that we uh, have most of this environment set up to be permanent. Uh, but. The, uh, the carbon dioxide rocket is over here, meaning that we can actually build ourselves a new one. And I am going to go ahead and do so. Okay, just a very simple rocket again. A carbon dioxide rocket and a solo space fair up nose cone on the top. Because I'm just going to go for some seeds. If I was going to get a massive cargo hole, I'd be looking to upgrade my rocket technology. But no. No, right now I need to be able to get those environmental suits so that I can start expanding my empire. And uh, then being able to deal with upgrading my rocket technology. Because I'd have access to all the materials that I need. Oh. Oh, look at it. We made ourselves a little bit of plastic last time and we struggled, struggled to make 30 grams, uh, 30 kilograms. Now we get 500 of them. Oh, man. You know what? We're just going to take a little aside here. So this guy over here currently being controlled by a clock sensor. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. Uh, this is my uh, my cleaning unit for my toilets over here. We've got a bunch of chlorine and the water comes out of the toilets into these tanks. And then uh, basically we wait for the cycle to go round and kill all the germs. And that, that's pretty good. But Oh, I think we can do better. Plumbing, liquid germ sensor, beautiful. I'm gonna slap that down, well, maybe not there, maybe not there. It kinda of needs to go directly underneath. I was gonna think about putting an and signal on it so we could have like time control and whether it's got good germs, but I don't think I'm bothered. So whilst we have Hicks and Bishop fixing the, uh, the, the rocket up here, I think we can do a little something down this end of the map here. If we come along and have a look, I believe that this is the most sticky out point on the map. That, that's, that's the furthest we can go. And if I just kind of draw a line over there, we've got ourselves actually the space where we should have been ranching. So if we go one, two, three, four, and then draw a line up there, and one, two, three, four, oh, wouldn't you know it, wouldn't you know it, we are one block off. So I am going to start moving moving everything around my uh, my aim here is to actually remove this stables from commission and uh have another one the extra ranch space will be handy but actually what it's for is to expand the farms out so that we could uh Think about where the barn lily's going to go. Maybe this lot's going to move as well and we'll have another layer of farms. I mean, Ripley does work hard just from here, right? Ah, look at that. The rocket's being fueled up before we even get the nose cone on. That's that's kind of cool, actually. There seems to be no way to avoid this unfortunate chlorine spill that could happen here. I'm just going to live with that, I think. we got a little bit... Oh, that's polluted oxygen. We've got little bits of chlorine floating around. This might end up being a little bit more, but we'll put, we'll put some air filter in place somewhere. The one that I am trying to avoid is popping this bubble here as you can see i've moved this tile down one i want to build this before we uh try and crack that top open a little bit so 
Some new stable spaces coming on wonderfully. And over in the SS Uranus, I'm loving that name. I have put, queued up a whole bunch of build orders here, just like the Helios. Literally a block for block representation. Uh, it, it, it's going to be great. Over on Tyranno, by the way, up here, I have been uh, rerouting some power cables. It turns out that uh, th this wasn't going well, so it uh, wasn't going so well out here. Bam, get those words out. Uh, the power transformer, it was in the vacuum of space. Makes, makes heat couldn't send the heat anywhere overheated and blew up so i'm taking some heavy watt wire up this little slot here putting it through a power transformer and taking the wire out there hopefully just the ambient temperature will be able to keep this place cool i'm hoping so anyway all right back to your kill is anyone doing anything over here how about inside here no we're gonna have to wait a little while oh chlorine's being set free though the chlorine is being set free brace yourselves Okay, this is quite good. We've got this little stairway put in place. I'm just going to ask this tile to be put in, and then we can start taking this one out. And it will be a, a whole sealed unit. That, that's that's great. Still quite a bit of chlorine. Of course, try to make sure you get every bit of ladder on the way out. It's just as stressful as building the place. Oh, Yeah, I messed that one up. I, I'll, I'll cut that for it. What of it? What of it? <laughs> okay, let's just... Um ever so slightly bump these jobs none of them have been touched so far and uh, on it honestly as good as this is it's not the most important thing going on okay here hicks goes let's see what's being built in there i've just saw bishop coming back so i've got a feeling actually oh yeah look at that we've got a bit of la uh, ladder built that's that's pretty cool uh we want the generator built last if preference actually can we just move hicks ah no don't do it like that uh, let's just move hicks over here uh, and then he should take up other jobs. That 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 would be great. But if we dip the jet, if we get the generator built first, uh, there won't be a battery to charge, and it'll be like oh power struggles, and then Bishop will just end up in a in a horrific loop of charging nothing. And I'm not about charging nothing. Oh, how did this happen? Okay, I wonder I wonder how long there's been a problem here. Let's get rid of those two. Uh, obviously, some sand has dropped down and no one's taken it out. This means no one's got down to any research, sort sorted out the food. Now, people must have sorted out the food, but they've had to go the long way round. Wow. Oh, man, we have got people horrifically underskilled here. Let's give Asha all of the healing skills. That's that's obviously a thing. Uh, Bishop's already got what he wants, but he's still got a little bit of extra extra morale. I'm wondering whether the rocketry pilot, piloting might be a thing, but, of course, improved strength, also good. Let's go with that one. Now, Hicks. Hicks is actually maxed out at the moment, and I really want to give him the rocket rocketry piloting because he's the guy I want to send off to the, uh, to the, to the new planet, of course. Well, Jonesy here loves to do a lot of stuff. Okay, so so far you're a cook. Let's also make you a doctor. All right, beautiful. Ripley, of course, both the improved ranching and farming. But she's mostly a farmer. I think I'm going to go with... Oh, Honza got digging for free. Okay, that's cool. I've given him the uh, the maxed out ranching. And, of course, randomers here. Um, oh, I'm not, I'm not sure. You're already kind of maxed out with your, with your morale. I think I'm going to leave you be for now. Still a lot of points to spend, but mm, that morale balance. Of course, anyone with the spare point should have uh, an extra point in improved strength. Okay, I've caved and put in a centralized storage here. Anything that is set for sweep can get delivered over to here now. So I'll just I'll literally do things like this, and then it's all just going to get delivered there. But there is a serious problem. It's not a problem down here. It's not a problem with any of this. It is, of course, a problem not with the rocket specifically. But if we come in and go, hey, could you uh, change your destination here? We want to fly over this way, right? There's no rocket platform on this planetoid for a rocket to land on. I mean, like, oh, really? we got to use a Trailblazer module or a Rover module. Now, we can can of course go in there and actually put the rover module in because we do have one but i did had no no let's instead go to the research and find that trailblazer module module yes big words i can use them also um there's been an update that we've got radiation research that needs to be used also interstellar research that needs to be used we've just like bypassed that because it's an old map i mean it's not the biggest problem but it's not the best either anyway down here look look here we got we got like green stuff green stuff is new uh down this way where are the rockets? It always takes me a little while to find them. Space program. Here we go. Space program. Crash plan. Look, this is where you get the orange research from. So we had to have done this anyway. There's the Trailblazer module. There's the organic micro uh, orbital micro lab. Uh, I don't know. What? Uh, so we're going to do that. Let's have a look. Conducts interstellar research to unlock new technologies. Consumes data from telescopes and research modules. Assigned duplicants must possess the astronomy skill. Oh, let's go to the skills. 
Let's have a look at randoms. That's right. Okay, no, we're fine. That's all right. No, what, what do you mean there's pro There's no problems here. What well, we do need to go do that. Oh, look, look, we've even got another tab. Look, it's a new tab. Hey, is... Is there radiation coming from above? I mean, like, that that is true. Uh, radiation does fall mostly from the sky anyway. Uh, okay, let's turn this off and let's see if Randoms is going to be doing any research. I should hope so. What, what's going on? Honza. <sighs> you're toileting. You're not starving. You're fine. Really, you're fine. Well, it looks like Randomers has picked up a touch of hyperthermia somewhere along the line, but you know what? It doesn't stop him doing the research, so I think we're okay. How long did it take for that to disappear? I mean, like, we got 12 seconds worth of it. I think we're okay. Minus five science, minus five machine. That's quite... It's quite actually a bit a bad uh, debuff. Hmm. Whilst we're waiting for the research to roll in, I'm just getting Hicks to build ourselves a little carbon skimmer down here because we're not pumping enough up to our rockets to actually deal with the amount of carbon dioxide we're making. As you can see, we've got a little pocket of it over here and then it's making its way down here. This is kind of like all these airflow tiles that I've been trying to make to pass the carbon dioxide down. Uh, most of it's been collecting down the bottom here. That's been fine, but it's starting to push its way up and through the top here, and I don't want that. So we're going to put a carbon skimmer, as I say. Uh, already the liquids are starting to flow. Flow, so this should be beautiful. The outflow of the polluted water is going to my farms. What more do we want? Oh, the research is actually coming along nicely. Let's go in and have a look and see how we're doing over here. What's the research actually doing? Randomers is there doing some work. Okay, that's cool. I assume Hans is walking around doing uh, helpful things. Well, he's, he's taking care of the food. I mean, that that is kind of helpful, right? We are going to run out of water at some point, though. Well, I guess we're going to turn over to a water economy in here now. Let's uh, deconstruct a few things. I'm going to leave this one outhouse. That one outhouse? Let's leave that one outhouse. Uh, ooh, ooh, we've done some problems here. Uh, because I want to keep a small bit of dirt turning over. We, 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 we have some some millwood down here. They rely quite heavily on dirt. 10 kilograms per cycle. I'm not sure that we're making 10 kilograms per cycle, but you know, it's good to keep some going, right? Maybe time to sw switch to Bristle Blossom. Are, are they just, just water and light? I think so. There will be flooding, but we need to do that to to get our, uh, our toilets turning over better. Hmm. It takes a little bit of persuasion to get these guys doing anything other than they're like researching or farming. I have a persuasion button though. Okay, because I had to let Honza eat, um, random randomers went ahead and did the research. That's great. Let's go over to Yerkil. We'll leave those guys working on the toilets and stuff. For some reason, it was saying there wasn't enough uh, materials for the actual toilet, but whatever. I'm going to press a, a plus one there, and let's see if we can't... What am I missing? What am I missing? Research incomplete. What was the... I, um... Excuse me? Okay, so it says research incomplete, but what actually is happening is we don't have the enough refined metal. Okay, that that's fine, I think. All right, Bishop is immediately on it for me. Thank you very much. A new day, a new da task, a new tangent. But thankfully, I think we have managed to get ourselves enough of the iron together. Okay, that wasn't quite what I we were working on copper. Whatever, that's fine. We'll take that. Still says research incomplete. Whatever. We're just going to throw that there. And yes, beautiful. Oh, look at that. I I'm so glad we don't have to rip down the, uh, the, the, the solo no nose cone here. It's got all the stuff in it. <laughs> Uh, these two not being able to wash their hands is a big issue. If we could just get these last bits of pipe in place, we'd actually have the whole system set up and ready to go. That roll of my R did not work there. Let me try again. Ready to go. There we go. Beautiful. All right, and the water is a pumping. It gets jumped through here, goes into the water sieve. It doesn't technically need to because it's clean water, but whatever. We'll just send it through. It goes through without consuming any power. It's the wonderful thing about the water sieve nowadays. And it immediately gets picked up by this liquid pump pipe that uh, means that all the water that is being produced first comes down to here there's supposed to be a sink here let's put that one down just so they wash their hands before they pick up the food you know uh and, and then the water goes around to all of these things uh, gives them the water that they need uh they are using this one preferentially at the moment i wonder if there is a, a way to change that preference i don't know let's turn that down to a five and see if they're the same of course hans is using the toilet so he's starving uh, these, these two states go hand in hand well at least they're using the toilets and hopefully the water then comes out yeah beautiful beautiful it is full of germs but i think we can deal with that on the way past you can see the water only comes down to here for now uh we've got some 
some rust. The, from the rust, we can make chlorine. In fact, we've got bleach stone. We can we can just set up a little decontam unit over here, I think. But enough of them and their toilet worries. Let's see what's going on over on your kill. It is, of course, all about that rock here at the moment. We have a lot of people going around and doing some tidying. That's fine. We've got a lot of stuff to tidy. The Hicks is all about getting this trailblazer module made. I really should go ahead and make these guys some oxygen masks over here. Why are we still getting starvation? It's still Hanza. No, my, my friend, no. You're, 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 you're fine. Trust me. You are fine. Okay, well, here goes the trailblazer module. That's pretty cool. Uh, new principles are available. What are we going to get? Slickster. Sweet. I think, I think I'm going to go for the Sweetle. As much as the Slickster's would be handy i'm i'm not down here yet and uh 56 degrees and I, I don't know if that's warm enough i don't know if that's warm enough for them hey that that egg has cracked how how did that happen what there's two of them what? okay so this trailblazer module is waiting for 400 kilograms of iron i don't do, do we have 400 kilograms of iron uh let's see who's on the oh wow okay let's let's turn that up let's let's turn that up okay cool ripley are you able to actually find all the stuff i mean look looks like you're going for okay so we got some down here there's uh, 70 kilograms on one side and 500 on the other okay we're all right look there's even a little bit more over there it is wet down here and quite hot but hopefully ripley will be okay I, actually this is taking far too long. I'm not liking this at all. Ripley, please, please move faster. And this is why we need the atmosphere suits. We, we, the environmental hazard suits, more specifically, because there are environmental hazards around that we need to deal with. Oh no. Okay, so Ash has just made the delivery, and here comes Hicks to actually build the Trailblazer module. This is all new for me. I've never done this before, so uh, we're, we're learning together, guys. We're learning together. Of course, the yellow lines do take a while to fill up. Okay, there we go. The time acceleration was good. Uh, disinfect. Oh, man, is it? Is there problems? <laughs> Well, Hicks has got a lot of morale all of a sudden. I thought he was a bit more uh, borderline than that. Okay, well, Hicks, I need you to be a rocket pilot. Thanks. Perhaps we could also give you improved construction. Look, look how much morale he's got. What, where did this... Didn't we just go through this and he was like very much borderline. Okay, so I've asked my grill to always make omelette because I didn't realise we'll be getting some egg overflow here. I thought all the eggs would be picking up and popped over in, in here like this, where they hatch and make some meat and then we have barbecue. But okay, we'll take we'll take omelette as well. Why not? Why not? I was wondering why no one was coming through to build the generator in here, but that of course is because no one could get up to build the generator that is in there. So Hicks came along to save the day there, but of course his feeble, feeble lungs and their Lack of oxygen are letting us down. And then downtime. Oh, no. We're literally just waiting on that generator to get built so that we could uh, se send Hicks off to, to your far yonder. Shrabini? I think it's Shrabini, maybe. Yeah, Shrabini. We'll go with that. Mid-sized sandstone and forest world with significant radiation. Oh, irradiated forest asteroids have an abundance of metal for the taking if you can withstand the planetoid's radiation. Are we going to kill Hicks here? I mean, there's a very specific radioactive biome, so we'll avoid that. Just to remind you, we are solely after thimble reeds. We just need that one plant so that we can make our way into the atmospherically protected era where we can start dealing with high temperatures and maybe getting some steel reflection refinement underway and like high temperature steam boxes and stuff like that but it turns out we, we we need to flee the planet first oh hicks come to finish the job beautiful beautiful as soon as this gets up and running get a little bit of algae in there oh there is something we're missing there is something we're missing it's gonna be very important very very important i'm gonna put a conveyor loader in the corner there i don't know whether we need power or not but i do know that we need bishop to come along specifically to do this oh can hicks do is this not a mechatronics thing okay that's fine i'll take that okay with this luck oh no no okay that last piece isn't in place maybe this is what was needed for bishop yeah bishop's the only one that can come along and do this it, it, ah okay so that was just a delivery that makes sense i suppose all right, go Bishop, go! Uh, building that away. Of course, we need this to uh, be our storage area. I would have put the, an upright container in, but where are we going to put it? Where are we going to put it? I'm also a little bit concerned by these two wasted spaces here. I feel like we could rearrange somehow and bring these two spaces together. I, I, I don't know quite how we could do that, but then we would have uh, two spaces. I mean, two spaces is a useful space to build stuff in. Bishop just really is... Um He's not, got, he's not got the long capacity for it, has he? Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Let's slow time back down here. We want to allow manual use, of course. I'm just going to say, hey, anything edible, just, just...
just anything edible, pop that in there. Uh, what else do we want? We want some organic algae, of course. Uh, and that's it for now. Well, of course, we seeds. Does it does it give us access? No, we can't. We can't already click the thimble read. That's a, that's a shame. The Trailblazer module is up and running. But before we do that, there are some problems that I want to attend to. You can see this lump of obsidian here. It's been bugging me for a while, and I think I think we can give randomers a little bit of a skill boost here. What we're going to do is go and put him up to. Is it hazmat digging? Is that really? No, looking at the wrong person again. I keep doing this. We're going to go up to super hard digging. Now this should be okay, despite the fact that we have much more morale needed than we have available. Because I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to come down to the. I believe it's station. We're going to put down a skill scrubber. We have uh, made made great use of this over on this colony over here, and uh, we're going to continue to do so. Okay, so we got rid of the symbols there. Where is my friend randomers? Really, I'd, I'd like you to come along and uh, expand this farm out so that we can start taking on more duplicates. Maybe. Man, all the metals are just scattered to the wind on this asteroid. We'll have to get some sort of central storage together, but this is one of the problems that we've got on this place. We just can't afford to have another duplicate, so we don't have anyone to run around and tidy up. But of course, this is the thing we're working on. Okay, skill scrubbers down, that's good, because we're already at 10% stress, but I really want randomers. I would have preferred you to come over here. Oh, I thought I'd put these uh these priorities up. I mean, to be fair, digging's digging, right? Okay, this is good. We can get some actual farming on the go now. If we come back to Yakil, I think the time has arrived. Uh, did we just watch someone go in there? That's not what I was trying to do. We're going to change the crew. It is going to be Hicks, because he is the only pilot. Thank you very much. We're going to change our destination, because the time has come to send this... What, what, uh, there's there's a trailblazer module on there. Don't do this to me. Don't do that. Look, what is this? It's right there. Ah. Uh, of course, I deploy it from the surface. Okay, so let's just send that over that way. We're going to wait for Hicks. Hicks, my friend. Oh, look, look, it's spinning around. What is this? What is this? This is great. Well, my friends, we need to send Hicks off to find the great unknown. We are missing the one thing we need to move on forwards into the future. And uh, what better way to go and find it than, if we, uh, than trying to look on other planets? Incomplete. What's missing? Where, where's the pilot? What, what, what's happened to him? Why are you not going? Report for duty, my friend. I don't know. These duplicates, they'd, they'd all much rather go sit on the toilet than do what I want them to. I don't understand how we make this more appealing to Hicks. Let's have a look. Is there is there a rocket tree along here? Rocket tree. There, there is. There is. Let's, let's pump that up. Let's pump that up. I mean, we're, we're still going to have to wait a bit. Does Hicks not have a bed at the moment? Is this what I'm reading here? I mean, like, we're, we're not really going to give him another one because we're just about to send him off to space, but he's been sleeping on the floor a lot. We do have two spare cots. It's a bit a bit confusing. Look, this this one here, Hicks. This one here. There you go. Nearly forgot we didn't have any algae. Um, let, let's just send some through the trans-dimensional portal. It goes in there, and it should be just falling on the floor. There we go. Beautiful algae. Nice. Because we've run into a little bit of problem with the conveyor loader. It seems nobody wants to take the errand, even when we're at full alert. This might be because there's not a rail behind it, so I've put one in place. We're waiting for people to make the deliveries, but obviously the iron comes from a very long way away. Oh no, it's copper ore for the rail. Where is everybody? Okay, Bishop got there in the end. Let's see if that's made out. Yes, beautiful. All right, cool. We're going to get filled with far too much stuff. Let's turn that off. Wonder what food's gonna make it here. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that's some algae going in. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's stop that for the moment. I mean, on the floor is not the best place, but hopefully when we're flying, Hicks will tidy that up. And here's Bishop with some food. All right, beautiful. Whole bunch of barbecue. Some of it fresh, some of it stale. Mm -mm. Okay, quick bit of maths. Duplicate, uh, Hicks, our friend Hicks here, burns a thousand calories per cycle. He is just bringing some more food. Let's see how much we end up with at the end of this. Let, so far, let's call it 2,000 cycles of usable food. Okay, that's 3,000. I think I think we might be ready to go. So Hicks, get get on board. All crew boarded. Uh, let's let's go. Let's begin that. Let's begin that launch sequence. As I said, we are cruising on our way to try and make ourselves some new materials. We need reed fiber so we can make ourselves a, a atmospheric suit to be safe from the environmentals that are around. But I'm afraid with that, I am going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time when we are going to go get those thimble reeds. Hicks is going to get over there. It's a very short journey, it turns out. So we'll get over there and deal with that. Look, there is another question mark. Mm -hmm. But I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.